Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Scorpio May 31, 2022. Today's transits favor practical matters and plans, but you're also in good shape for interacting with purpose. You especially want to invest in worthwhile projects. It can be a time to look for help or support if you need it. Sometimes it pays off to allow others in on your problems, and today can be one of those times. If you need to handle or manage a tricky financial or relationship matter, today's transits are good for reasonableness and fairness. You have a stronger feeling of stability and clarity. Relationships are in better standing, especially since you're inspiring trust. A home or living arrangement matter can come together well now. Later today, the moon heads to the top of your solar chart, and you're more goal-oriented and concerned about the long term. While this transit only lasts two and a half days, Mars also moves to this area of your chart and will stick around for six weeks. As such, you're just beginning a robust period for ambition and career activity. If you're suddenly inspired to take the lead in a romantic situation, there is no need to second-guess yourself. After all, it's not every day the moon joins forces with lucky Jupiter in Aries, let alone, alongside Aries' red-hot planetary ruler, Mars, via your traditional 10th house of authority, career, and notoriety, which means you're not only approaching the situation with confidence, but with honesty and integrity as well. Keep in mind that Mercury retrograde will harmonize with Pluto retrograde in your relationship sector, which means you could be reflecting on previous experiences with romantic prospects while others of you reunite with people from your past. You have a professional network of colleagues, past co-workers, and even work besties that you may need to reconnect with when Mercury retrograde in Taurus trines Pluto retrograde in Capricorn. The trine revisits old topics, thoughts, and talks that need to come to light once again. It could be time to reconnect with long-lost colleagues or even with someone who once had a lead on a work opportunity. The truth about a working relationship could also come out in conversation during the trine today. As much as the focus today is on Mars return to your career sector and the impact this is having professionally this is giving Venus, the planet of money a boost in her final days here. Having the moon here is sharpening your professional instincts and bringing all the different threads together but just days away from leaving, this is helping to highlight her focus on steering things in a lucrative direction. Whether a pleasant family get-together is on the cards or a celebration with friends, today is perfect for socializing. Just as you enjoy the company of others, they like being with you too. Friends and family know exactly how much you mean to them and value your company. Be yourself today, because they accept you just as you are, loving you and trusting in you. If you dive right in and try to solve this conflict on your own, things could get ugly. Your best bet is to step outside and take a walk around the block when things get heated. Besides, who knows who you'll run into. This is not the time to feel sorry for yourself, if you long to find someone to share your life, give yourself every opportunity to meet someone new. This is not a time for dreaming but to make your dreams a reality. Be courageous, get out and socialize, forget thoughts of past loves and look eagerly to the future. I wouldn't be surprised if you shed some tears today. Whoever said it's wrong to cry? Do you pretend you're not feeling anything at all when you are overwhelmed? If today is indeed a day that finds you crying, be happy. Blocked emotions weigh you down and make it hard for you to feel alive. If you can make it to a gentle yoga or a meditation class, it would help you to explore some unexpressed emotions you might not even know are there. Even you need time to yourself. And today is just the day to take it. The essence of a vibration is one that encourages self-awareness through spirituality, introspection, and meditation. If prayer is something that works for you to better connect, this is an excellent thing to do on this day, as well. By taking such time, you will notice an increase in your emotional well-being and overall productivity. Do what you need to do to ensure that you get alone time. You'll feel much better for it. 
Thanks to the moon's departure from your relationship sector yesterday you are not only more emotionally engaged during Venus early days here but during Mercury's final days in retrograde motion. Just having heart and mind on the same page is an advantage but even more so when you are emotionally engaged as well, at a time when the planets of love and communication are also bringing the past, present and future together. This is giving you a better sense of what you want from your relationships while Mercury is working to give the past and unsaid words a voice. Thanks to the moon's departure from your relationship sector yesterday you will be feeling more emotionally engaged as you move into some defining days on the relationship front. In her early days here Venus, the planet of love is looking to the future while in his final days in retrograde motion Mercury, the planet of communication is working to give the past and unsaid words a voice. The moon has made it easier for both. Our eyes in the sky. We could feel a huge shift this morning, when the sun changes signs from sensitive cancer to proud and fiery Leo. If you have a tendency to put others first, now is the time to focus just a bit more on yourself. Unfortunately, this could be easier said than done when the moon makes a challenging aspect to Chiron this afternoon. There could be a lot of egos flying around right now and though you might find it difficult to set boundaries with people who rub you the wrong way, it's important for your mental health to do so. Venus and Jupiter face off in the cosmos throughout the day, which could tempt you into being overly generous with others. Remember that it's okay to say no to someone, and it's totally acceptable to bestow the love and energy you freely give to others back on yourself. By mid-afternoon, a helpful connection between the moon and Uranus could bring pleasant surprises your way, especially in your professional life. Your status could get a little upgrade as well, so don't be afraid to show off what an amazing masterpiece you are. As the day comes to a close, you could feel worn out from all of the day's energy, which could cause you and others to shut down. Don't take it personally if someone doesn't answer your messages tonight. Like you, they probably just need some quiet time to decompress. In the morning, Venus, having just made its ingress into Virgo, opposes Jupiter in Pisces, an excellent transit for relaxation, play, or vacationing, if we have budgeted our time and resources correctly. The carefree nature of this aspect can cause us to be unwisely generous and philanthropic. Our intentions may be good, but we risk neglecting our own interests, giving something away that we actually need. At this time, we are not especially disciplined in our thinking, believing that good things come to those who sacrifice, and although there may be some truth to this, we should strive to be conservative so as not to find ourselves in a tough spot when the glow of the day wears off. Following this, the sun exits emotional cancer to enter expressive Leo, its domicile. In the month ahead, our focus shifts from private to public spheres of engagement. We become more comfortable in sharing our creative ideas, as well as our identity, on a wider stage. This an excellent time for challenging imposter syndrome and defying the inner critic who suggests we seek smallness to avoid attracting the wrong kind of attention. During Leo season, life is a performance piece. We must be willing to own our talents and gifts and to be unapologetic about taking up space. In doing so, we welcome those with similar interests into our orbit, making connections from a place of mutual appreciation and authenticity. On the other hand, we should check our pride often over the next four weeks. Declining to tame an overinflated ego can lend to conflict and needless drama. As always, there is merit in striking a balance between confidence and arrogance.